2020 and 5780. This is the decade of establishment. That when God created, in the beginning, God created Genesis 1, amen? In the beginning, God created, that is now. So right now is the birthday of all creation. Rosh Hashanah is a time frame, and the 10 days of all is a time frame where the books of heaven, the books of life, the books of judgment are opened up. And the angels of the Lord are reading out loud the deeds that you've done in the body, are also blotting out the evil sins that you did, knowingly and unknowingly, willingly and unwillingly, and also people's names are also being blotted out. So on this Rosh Hashanah, I declare, I decree and I declare these seven declarations. Number one. So if I have a word here, okay, I know yesterday uh, at His Way Live, I, I said a lot of things, but this next year from November, okay, November 2019 to November 2020, this year is going to be such a critical year, such a critical year, people of God. This year, I'm telling you, the warfare is going to be so high, intensity is going to be so high, but because there's a release of the Great Awakening that's happening. Okay, from now till the re-elections of President Trump in 2020, November 2020. So this next year time frame, I'm telling you, there's there's going to be a big push. We're, we need a push. We need to concentrate. We need to fast. We need to fast forward. Listen, guys, share, share, share. Give, give me some hearts. Give me some likes and share, share, share. Okay, but that's what's going to happen in the next year and in the next three years because we know that God moves in, in three-day increments. Three-year increments, all right? God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. On the third day, he rose again. There's something about uh, the completion. In fact, the number three in Hebrew stands for completion. So in the next three years, we're going to see a shift. In the next three years, I'm telling you, people of God, we're going to see a shift. Stadium gatherings, stadium awakenings, uh, mass souls and salvations. The face of Christianity is going to be totally different. The Lord is evening out and plateauing the playing field of the saints of God. More and more people are going to fall. More and more leaders are going to be exposed. More and more people are going to be committing suicide. However, God is going to be revealing the true sons of God in this hour. So even in the next three years, you're going to see the remnant rise. You're going to see new leaders, nameless faces, Christian believers, leaders rise because God is turning the tails to be the head. You will be the head and not the tail. So there is a new breed of believers, leaders, faithful ministers and ministries that are being birthed, that are being released, even in the next three years. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And in the three years, it's going to push forward into the next 10 years. Some would say 10 years. I'm praying for you now that the Lord will give you a 10-year vision. The word that the Lord has given me, and you're going to be hearing me say this for the next few weeks to months. But this is fresh now on social media and on all platforms. This is fresh now. I prophesied, I preached it last night under the unction of the Holy Spirit. I've been praying. I know 5780. 80, which is pay in Hebrew. Uh, you guys have heard me say this already. All right. It's the decade of the mouth. It's the decade of declaration. It's the decade. All right. Because 80 in Hebrew stands for declaration, stands for the mouth. Right? We have ended the decade of the I in 5770s and 79 of the I, where he's been revealing, showing you, exposing. There's been a revelation. There's been exposure to see around the eagle anointing. But now we're going from the eagle to the lion. Now we're going from the eye to the mouth. Now we're going from declaration to dedication. Now we're going from speaking to eating. Now we're going, come on now. Now we're going to sing, excuse me, sing to speaking. Now we're going to, now we're going from seeing to eating. So there's a shift right now because God's raising up the prophets to mature into the kings. We're moving from the prophetic seer anointing now to the kingly lion anointing. That's the decade we're entering into. And the Lord spoke to me yesterday, and I'm declaring this now, that 2020 and 5780, this is the decade of establishment. You guys are hearing this first live fresh on all social media streams. 
5780 is the decade of establishment. It is a decade of divine establishment. Why? Because the Bible says, decree a thing and it shall be established. But see, it's not just about king's decree. It's about kingdom de uh, establishment. So this is a decade. Hear me now. Pray and ask the Lord of the harvest for a 10-year vision. I'm telling you right now, for a 10-year vision. A 10-year vision plan. Listen, right now, we have a 2020 vision. And now we have a 570-80 vision. Okay? We have a one-year vision, 2020, and now we have 2020 to 23, and now we have 2023 to 2030. Ask the Lord for a 10-year vision. This is a 10-year vision plan, a 10-year vision of dedication, and I believe that 5780 is the year of establishment, divine establishment. I, I, I wish somebody is receiving right now. If you're receiving, give me some hearts and likes. This is the decade of establishment, divine establishment. He is establishing a new kingdom order. And even as I prophesied last night, um, Kanye West, Justin Bieber is just the first fruits of Hollywood. It is the first fruits of, of Hollywood, of uh, Hollywood stars, celebrities turning to the Lord. And I'm telling you guys, the face of Christianity is going to be so different in the next three years. In the next three years. If you believe that, someone say amen. So 5780 is the decade of kingdom establishment. Oh, Shabbat. It's the decade of kingdom establishment. And let me tell you why. I know I'm digressing. I'm saying a lot. Uh, let me tell you why uh, Rosh Hashanah is so important. Because it is the head of the year. What does that mean? It means it's the Hebrew New Year. What does that mean? That means that you are now in a new year. In fact, the rabbis and the scholars say that when God created, in the beginning, God created Genesis 1, amen? In the beginning, God created, that is now. So right now is the birthday of all creation. Rosh Hashanah is the birthday of all creation, which means God is doing a new thing. He's creating a new beginning. In the beginning, God created. He's still creating. And so right now, Rosh Hashanah, He's creating a new beginning. It's a new year. It's a new decade. Lashana Tova. Hak Sameach. It's a new year. It's a new day. It's a new decade. Someone say hallelujah. So Rosh Hashanah is the head of the year. Which means that now you are the head and not the tail. Which means that you get a fresh start and a new start. Alright, so there's grace right now Rosh Hashanah. Today to tomorrow, all right? We already entered into Rosh Hashanah, all right? But there's grace now from today to tomorrow. Hear me, hear me, people of God. For you to tap into the anointing to begin to create with God. The Bible says that you and I, we're co-creators with God, amen? We're co-creators with God. So there's a grace and an anointing from today to tomorrow to co-create with God. What does that mean? Hear me now. It means that as you turn to the Lord in repentance, as you turn your face and your eyes and your heart toward the Lord, because that's what 10 days of all is all about, until next Tuesday, Yom Kippur, the destiny scrolls of heaven are opened up right now. The books of life are opened up right now. Which literally means that Rosh Hashanah and the 10 days of all, Rosh Hashanah is the beginning and these next seven days, it's... The time frame where the angels of God open up the books of life and the books of judgment. Literally, when you and I stand before God, before the, the judgment uh, seat of the Lord, the mercy seat or the judgment seat, when you and I stand before God, the books of heaven will be open as it is now. So the Jews believe, according to Revelation, okay, by the Spirit of God, Rosh Hashanah is a time frame, and the ten days of all is a time frame where the books of heaven, the books of life, the books of judgment are opened up. And the angels of the Lord are reading out loud the deeds that you've done in the body, the things that you've said. And the angels of the Lord are inscribing, writing down the things that you did, and hear now, hear me this, and are also blotting out, praise the Lord, are also blotting out the evil sins that you did, knowingly and unknowingly, willingly and unwillingly, and also people's names are also being blotted out. 
people's names are also be blotting out. That's why the psalmist David said, do not blot out my name in the book of life. That's why Apostle Paul said, I would rather want my name to be blotted out rather than the saints, the brethren of the Jews. That's why Moses said, blot out my name instead of my brothers. I wish somebody heard me today. Oh, I wish somebody heard me today. So there's angels, there's scribe angels that are scribing right now and that are erasing right now. Before it's sealed, before the books are closed, they're going to be closed in the next few days. It's going to be closed in the next few days. What does that mean? That means that your destiny for this year is going to be sealed. And I want to tell you now, as a man of God, as a prophet of the Lord, even the things that you pray into and you prepare into these next 10 days, you can seal your destiny for the next 10 years. You can prophesy, you can pray, you can inscribe, partner with the scribe angels as you repent, as you turn to the Lord, as you sow, as you give, as you humble yourself, as you teshuvah. What does that mean? As you repent, as you get your heart right in the next 10 days, He will cause you to be the head and not the tail. And you can begin to inscribe, hallelujah, good things, write history with the Lord, write epistles with God into your scrolls, Am I preaching now? Am I shouting right now? And as you do so, in the days of Yom Kippur, next Monday, Tuesday, it's going to be sealed. It's going to be shut. It's going to be done. It's going to be fulfilled. So now when the high priest comes before God, Yahweh, when Jesus Christ, the high priest of Aaron, Melchizedek, when he comes before God the Father, Yahweh, and the Holy of Holies, he brings all of this before the Lord. You better hear me. Before the judge. Jesus is a lawyer and God the Father is the judge. And he brings it all before the Lord, before the Father. And says, remember the sins no more. Remember the good deeds that were done. Remember all that I did representing the people of God, O Father. And let it be sealed, let it be done. And let them enter into the place of the right hand of grace. Favor, blessings, prosperity, peace, uh, passion, uh, 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 uh. Uh, at the right hand of God, not the left, where the goats of stubbornness, of wickedness, of evil, of sin, of lust, of debauchery. Let them go into the place of the right hand of the Father's favor. That's what's happening right now. And it's, it's being scribed right now. So I want to tell you now, from Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year, the beginning of the new year, hallelujah. That these seven days unto Yom Kippur, it's going to launch you into your destiny. It's going to launch you into this new year and this new decade. I wish somebody heard me today. <laughs> it's going to launch you into this new year, 5780. And it's going to launch you into this new decade, 5781, 5782, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, till 5790. 2020 to 2030. It's going to launch you. So what are you doing now? How are you consecrating? How are you preparing? How are you taking it seriously? I'm telling you guys, please heed this word. I wish you were here last night because that was such a, such a grace. But you're logged on now. I'm telling you, you're tapping into uh, this realm right now. You're coming into agreement with this word right now. Amen. You're making a connection, a spirit connection, a tangible connection right now with this prophetic word of Rosh Hashanah. This is a new year. It is a new season. It is a new decade. And how you handle these prophetic words and how you handle your heart and your finances, your giving, your relationships, everything. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be a new playing field. Even in the next three months, by the end of 2019, you're going to see so many shifts, so many changes. If you believe it, someone say amen. Give us some hearts and likes here. So Rosh Hashanah, today to tomorrow, the Lord is going to meet with you. Is going to speak to you. It's going to clothe you. It's going to visit you. I believe in habitation, but I also believe in days of visitation. I believe in habitation, but I also believe in days of visitation. What does that mean? That means that the Father lives with you, amen, in your home, in your house, just like your father, or if you're married, right, your husband. But in times like Christmas, or in times like birthdays, special celebrations, as they return home, there's more gifts, more blessings, more plunders. That's visitation. I wish somebody's receiving that. 
Listen, right now, Rosh Hashanah, I want to give you seven declarations here. Seven prophetic declarations. And my friend, uh, author and prophetess, Susan, uh, has written it out. In fact, I released these last year. It was published on Elijah List as well. And this woman of God, Susan, reached out to me. And it's also now published in her book. But I want to... Um, I want to declare the seven Rosh Hashanah decrees and declarations over your life. I want to declare this, okay? And it's already uh, on my Facebook wall here, but I'm going to um, I'm going to post it now. I'm going to post it now, and I'm going to pin it. Amen. And I'm telling you guys, there's power in the, the decree. There's power in your declaration. <laughs> Someone say amen. Give me some hearts and likes here. There you go. I just pinned it right there. And uh, let me tell you why uh, understanding the revelation and the realm of the Jewish feasts and the biblical feast is so important because the Bible says that God moves in appointed times of destiny. This is an appointed time. This is the birthday of creation. This is a, a new birthday. This is a new year. So it, it's the beginning. Remember how you start is so important. And so this is an appointed time. Someone say amen. This is an appointed time. And the Bible says uh, that, you know, that he will meet with all of Israel, the people of God, in these appointed times. All right. So when there's an appointed time, there's appointed blessings. There's appointed overflow. All right. So um, it's actually commandment and it's part of the covenant. All right. That doesn't mean we're getting all weird and hocus pocus with, you know, and going overboard with, you know, all of the Jewish symbolism. And, you know, it doesn't mean that we're, you know, uh, you know, Messianic Jewish extremity, everything. You know what I mean? Uh, but it means we honor. It means we revere. It means we understand. It means we tap into it and we receive it and we become it. Um, but I want to decree over you and uh, uh, the seven Rosh Hashanah decrees and declarations. And in fact, Rosh Hashanah is also known as the Feast of Trumpets. Why? Because all across Israel, people will be blowing their shofars. And whenever shofars are blown, it means that there's victory. It means that there's... Uh, there's a blast of glory. It means that there's jubilee. It means that there's freedom. It means that there's uh, liberation. It means that Jesus Christ is coming. It means that angels are coming forth. It means that, uh, you know, it means that uh, angels are coming and the heavens are open. It means that it, there's worship. So that's why it's called the Feast of Trumpets. Because all the Jews and the rabbis will begin to blow their shofars and trumpets all across Israel. And not only that, but also there's a specific special... A uh, shofar blast frequency that's released in Israel only this time of the year in Rosh Hashanah. It's called the Yom Teruah. All right, uh, the Teruah, because there's a special, specific shofar blast that's released. All right, and uh, so imagine now that after each of these decrees and declarations, we're blowing a shofar blast. Amen. We're blowing a shofar, or wherever you are, you can just shout unto the Lord. All right. So on this Rosh Hashanah, I declare, I decree and I declare these seven declarations. Number one, I decree that I am the head and not the tail. The Lord my God is bringing me up and is turning things around in my life. You will be the head and you will be ahead of the rest. You are coming up in Jesus' name. If you believe that, give the Lord a shout. Number two, I decree and I declare that you are about to taste and see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You are about to taste of the sweetness of God. He is turning all of your bitter into sweet. You will fully experience the promises of His Word. If you believe that, give the Lord a shout. Declaration number three. I decree and declare a restoration of all that was lost and stolen from you and your family. Whatever the devil tried to take from your finances, your health, your ministry, and your businesses, you are going to take back now and you will receive your restoration today, 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 in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Declaration number four. I decree right now a spirit of restitution to take over in Jesus' name. 
the enemy will pay back seven times over and even more. I decree and declare that you are ready to receive the restitution and the honor that is for the shame and the arbitration and violation that was done against you. Get ready to receive seven times restitution. If you believe it, say amen. Declaration number five. I decree and declare that God is renewing all things in your life. You are coming into the new. The Lord is making you new as a new creation. You are coming into a new shift and a new alignment. New relationships, new blessings, new favor, new finances, new prosperity, and new connections in Jesus' name. You are coming into a new place of the glory because I am making all things new, says the Lord. If you believe it, give the Lord a shout. Declaration number six. I decree and I declare that you are entering into the best year of your life. You are entering into the best year of your life. This is going to be your year. You are going to have the best times of your life and the most outrageous encounters and experiences with the Holy Spirit. Expect signs and wonders and expect miracles. This is your year in Jesus' name. If you believe it, give the Lord a shout. And last but not least, declaration number seven. I decree and I declare that you are entering into the greatest breakthrough of all. You are the shofar of heaven. You are the trumpet of the Holy Ghost. The Lord is about to release the blast of breakthrough out of your mouth and out of your spirit. You will shout and you will praise and you will worship aloud of the great miracles and works and mercies of the Lord all the days of your life. 5780 is your year. It is your decade. 2020 is your year. And in the next three months, as we end 2019, you're going to experience miracles, signs and wonders, and suddenly 5780 is your year. 2020 is your year. These next three months, the Lord is going to bless you, is going to grace you with the miracles, suddenly shifts and signs and wonders. And you will be the head and you will not be the tail. You will be above all only and not beneath. You will be the lender and not the borrower. You will be the giver and not the taker. The Lord is going to establish you. He's going to raise you up like a man and a woman that is on top of the mountain peaks on a high and the goodness of the Lord will follow you all the days of your life and surely signs and wonders will mark your family, will mark your ministry, will mark your life. You will never be the same again and when people look at you again, they will see the four faces of God. When people look at you again they will no longer regard you as a little shepherd boy as a little peasant Esther orphan girl but they will see you for such a time as this because he has chosen you he has appointed you because the Lord said if you do not rise up in this time then who knows you will raise up another deliverer from another place but who knows if God has raised you up in this time in this season for such a time as this oh Lord I pray now that you will give these people a tenure vision. Oh Lord, I pray now that you will give these people a tenure vision. I pray that the next three months they will prepare themselves. And even now, in the ten days of all, that you will experience miracles, experience mercies. Rabo Sabatai. I declare now, in these next ten days of all, as you pray, as you fast, as you repent, as you set your face, your heart before the Lord, there's going to be open heavens. Rabo Sabatai. He's going to release Jubilee. I'm telling you, death cancellation. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Father, I pray now that the yoke of slavery will be broken. That the bars, the iron bars and the iron gates... Uh, of bewitchment and a witchcraft will be broken. Released in Isaiah 45, Cyrus anointing to prosper, to flourish, to be replenished. Rabo Shakata. Holy Ghost. He, she who has ears to hear, let him hear. The next 10 years, I, I heard my friend Prophetess Holly Watson say, 2020, the roaring 20s. I believe that. The roaring 20s. I believe that, the roaring 20s. But in this 
decade. It's going to be a decade of establishment. He will establish you as a pillar in the house of God. He will establish you as a holy pillar in the house of God. Unshakable. Unmovable. We are here to stay. The church of Jesus Christ is here to stay. America belongs to the Lord. California belongs to the Lord. Nevada, Arizona, Texas, New Jersey, New York, Florida, Michigan, Hawaii, Alaska, uh, Washington, Oregon belongs to the Lord. Every 50 states belongs to the Lord. And I'm telling you, the next year, November 2019 to November 2020 to the re-elections, we're going to experience madness, warfare. <laughs> But it's because it's a tipping point. It's because it's a year to fight for, to go all in. My gosh, it's a, it's a year to go all in. And then from that year to the next three years to the next decade. I'm telling people, God, this is about the future of America, the future of the world. The nations are at hand. And this Rosh Hashanah and the Ten Days of All to Yom Kippur, I pray now. That the Lord will blot out all the sins. Will blot out all transgressions. And I pray in the books of life. In your destiny scrolls. That the angels of God will begin to scribe blessings. Will begin to scribe new things. Will begin to scribe and write down over your life. Your ministry, your family, your business. And as well, that it will be sealed. And no man, no angel, no witch, no devil can open it, can change it, can deter it, can deviate you from the destiny scrolls that are being sealed in this time and this season. My gosh, my gosh. He she who has ears to hear, let him hear. We are in serious times. We are in serious, critical, important times. There is a great awakening and a great harvest that's at hand. Happy New Year. We made it to 5780. Happy New Year, we made it. And we're going to make it in the next three months of 2020. Happy New Year. Lashana Tova. May the favor and the grace of God let it cover you from your head to your toes like the sweet honeycomb of Jesus. The honey would stand for revelation. The honey would stand for the honey on the rock. The honey of the word of God. The honey and the milk of the promises fulfilled, the fatness, the butter, the cream, the fat, the riches of the land. May you cross over, experience the plunder, the promise, the covenant, the glory of Jesus. And this time and this season, may your eyes be open like Jonathan, the prince of Saul, the prince of, uh, uh, of Israel, as he ate of the honey and his eyes were open and lighted, because that's what the honey, the word of the Lord will do. will open up your eyes and the spirit so that you can see Revelation 2020, crystal clear vision. But I pray now that the Lord will cause your bitter to be washed away. You will no longer remember the tears. You will no longer remember the backstabbings, the betrayals. You will no longer remember the sad days. You will no longer remember every tear will be wiped away. There will be no more sorrow, no more pain. And there will be, he will be the light. Isaiah 60, Revelation. No longer will there be pain, sorrow, sickness, sadness, sin. It will, it will be such a fading facade memory. And you can't even remember it. Do you see what I see? You're in a new year. You are in a new season. You're in a new decade. You are a new creation. Do you see what I see? You'll go from seeing to becoming. 5780, we are in a new decade of establishment. Of becoming and establishing. We're in a new decade of establishment. Divine kingdom orders being established. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You are the head, not the tail. God bless you all.